You doing? You good? No. Hold on, okay? Hold on. It was it was bad, huh? I had a hundred, leaving over five dollars. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so I needed to go and get something to eat. It's cold. It is cold out here today, y'all. And it's snowing. Look at look at look at the yard. Look at look at the yard. Look at look at the parking lot right there. Yes, it is a storm coming here in Minnesota. You know the young lady, young lady said that I should give her my last five dollars so she can go and put it in the tank. I don't know if you need if you need five dollars to put in your tank. I don't think you need to come up here to the uh, Canterbury. I'm just saying. I don't need to be bringing my ass up in up in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm for real. You know. I mean, I complain a lot about these motherfuckers up here. That's that's the way they play. And I guess I still haven't fucking learned yet. Now I haven't. Sorry about that. I you you know I don't wanna. I don't want to cuss. I don't want to swear, you know, but I'm just I'm just saying that you you get in these big pots and your hand looks good at the flop and then when the when the river comes it's just it's just crazy. Today's topic though. Today's topic is Facebook topic that I came across in the in the Facebook group. So give me a minute, let me pull it out. Let me get to the truck because it is cold. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more when I'm in the truck. For real, it is. It is off the beaten path out there, man. I mean, just just 24 hours later, it is freezing cold and snowing out there. Up here at Canterbury, up here in Minnesota. Look at here. So this comment in the Facebook post comes from a guy named Terrence. And he posted it to Black Truckers United. So it's the Facebook group on Facebook. Yo, yo, before I get into this, if you're new to my channel, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and hit the button. The button? Damn it, man. Hit the bell on the way out the door. You know what I'm saying? So that you can get good videos like this all the time. Now, look, before I also get into it, there is some subtle changes in my videos in the future, man. Man, my lips is beyond chap right now. Got to get them moisturized. All right, first, uh, first thing. So, Terrence, in, in the Facebook group, he, he says, he posted, this is what he posts. Should a trainer be able to dog you out when training or talk to you any kind of way? Well, Terrence, I'm gonna say no, bruh. No, you, you should never be dogged out or talk to any kind of way, man. You know, we're all grown people out here. You know, the trainer is what it is. It's your trainer. He's not your father. He's not your mother. He's your trainer. He is only there to train you to properly drive the truck and to properly get an understanding of the company. That's what trainers supposed to do. They're not supposed to dog you out. They're not supposed to holler at you. They're not supposed to, they're not supposed to be any of that stuff. 
trainers are supposed to be patient because you're different you 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 dealing with different personalities out here you know what i'm saying you're dealing with different personalities you're dealing with different people you know what i'm saying so no bruh nobody should never nobody should never talk to you especially in a training position he has to have patience with you because you're new to this you know what i'm saying you're new to this you this your first time driving the big rig his job is to make sure that you drive it safely talk to the brother now, if this guy over here giving you some issues and hollering at you and dogging you out and all like that, you don't need to be with that, that driver, driver. You don't need to be with that trainer, man. You need to hop on the phone and call up your fleet manager or your coordinator or whoever and let them know that, hey, I'm having a problem with this, with this trainer me and him's not clicking. I need another trainer. Now, to be honest with you, you you may or may not go through a lot of trainers. I say two tops, three at the most. You see what I'm saying? You you got to get your footing in this game, man. This this game is this this game is hard. It's hard for somebody to teach somebody to tell them what to do, especially if they're hardhead. Now, let's flip it over, okay? Let's flip it for a little bit, all right? Now, if the trainer is training you properly and training you how, you, how you're supposed to be trained, but you're the dick, you're the problem, then, yeah, that trainer is going to feel some kind of way. That trainer is going to is going to start getting heated with you. Now, should he still dog you out and talk to you any kind of way? No, never that. Never that. Nobody should never be talked to any kind of way. Like I said, man, we're we're grown ass men and women out here trying to do trying to do this dangerous job. This job is dangerous. If you're not listening, and paying attention, then yeah, you can get effed up out here. You know what I'm saying? You can get effed up out here. But if you are, and if the trainer is just not doing his job, then you gotta let that company know that he's not doing his job. And to get somebody else to help you be a better truck driver out here or be a better person, or be a better anything. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to training, when it comes to training, it's all about the knowledge that that guy has to give you and the knowledge that you have to take. Soak it up, especially if he's training you right. If he's training you how to back right, how to maintain your lane right, how to do the Qualcomm right, all that. Just make sure that he's training you right. On the flip side of that, for the trainer, the trainee got to make sure that he understands everything that the trainer is training him. Now, if he's not understanding, then the trainer needs to probably tell them and let them tell the company and let them know, hey, I. I don't think this dude's gonna work out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you focus, you're motivated, you're driven, you're 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 into this game, learn it. Learn it. So Terrence, no man, nobody, no trainer is supposed to either dog you or talk to you any kind of way. And if that's the case, bruh, you need another trainer. All right? Lockout men, all right? You guys have any questions or anything like that for me hit me up leave me leave me a comment or something like that get at me on my instagram at lockout men at yeah at lockout men <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like share and hit that bell on the way out the door this is it i'm done and oh like i said before there's subtle changes in the way i'm doing my videos now unfortunately i can't well i could still edit 
the way I used to, but unfortunately, YouTube is just hitting everybody with this copyright thing. So even if you use like, like five seconds, 10 seconds of the song, YouTube still catches it and, and throw that flag up. So the music that I like, that you guys like, I unfortunately can't use it. So I, I'm gonna have to like find some other type of music. There is music out there, but you know, these subscription services that, that wants money for their music and majority of their, their stuff is all, it's not all that high. So I'm, I'm still gonna look for it. Don't worry about it. I'm still gonna get some good music out there. I just can't use the music that me and you guys like, all right? All right, I'll catch you later. I'll talk to you guys in another video. Peace. Once I'm gone, I ain't coming back nah, nah, You gon' have to settle with another man yeah, yeah. But when you realize, don't be running back